don't limit your friends to your classmates find someone who's reading law find someone who's reading medicine the other person who's reading real estate build that kind of thing and for those who are privileged to school you know they've come from ghana and they're schooling here network as much as people uh, as much as you can meet other nationalities learn about their cultures the world is a global village now guys we promised a part two and we are going right into it so things we knew we wish we knew before we were adults mm -hmm. and we are still continuing so i think the last time in in just the last episode we wrapped up on the fact that you know it's okay to fail it's yeah. okay but you know at the end of the day they all work together mm -hmm. now the next point we had down was about networking and how networking is important like it's essential mm -hmm. it's an essential part of life like you need to build relationships not just personal relationship mm -hmm. but professional relationships as well yeah there are some people who are nurses and all their friends are nurses the people <laughs> who are teachers and mm -hmm. all their friends are teachers mm -hmm. No, you should be able to have a lawyer friend, a police officer friend, you know. a friend who is in the in the navy, a friend who is in the army. You should have what a, a friend in the market, a friend who sells watch it. Like you should have connections in, <laughs> in the different. Places. Sometimes they don't need to become <laughs> your friends. Your friends, yeah, definitely. Like they are partners. Yeah. You know, someone you can talk to about. Yeah, you their you area of you, you know you make those strategic connections. Yeah. They don't need to become your friends because they are most business partners who are not friends. No. They they relate on that level. Like it comes to money. Yeah. This is the person I'm contacting. Yeah. I don't contact the person to ask to discuss personal issues. But when it comes to, let's say, I have a problem with the law. Let me contact this guy then I met. It, it can it. be someone you met trivially, but sometimes you you just have to make that conscious effort yeah. to pick and choose some people to yeah, associate definitely. yourself with. Definitely. Yes, they said the best time to make friends is before you need them, yeah. and relationship is currency. So just 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 do it. I wanted to go into. I'm thinking of going into real estate mm. now. What would I need before going into real estate? The first people, um, the f one of the first few people I would want to make friends with or get connections with mm. is someone who knows about land. Exactly. Straight land, up. not just land acquisition, yeah. but land finance, you know, land law. I have to get a lawyer friend, yeah. someone who knows about law mm -hmm. when it comes to real estate. I have to know someone who is an architect. Mm. So your goals in life and your dreams in life you have to bring, how, how would I say, um, stakeholders exactly. into your vision. Mm -hmm. Make connections with them for yeah. that goal. You know, sometimes you keep them as friends, but some just relate with them on the profit. It can be just at work. It can be your old boss. Yeah. You still keep that person close. Absolutely. Because there are people who have moved into new jobs and they still take advice from their old boss. Most definitely. Keep I, that I'm relationship very that. good. <laughs> yeah. Keep that relationship very good because those people will help you. They are, they are part of the ladder yeah. into your way to success. Yeah. Definitely. So, when, I mean, someone would ask, how do I know? See, when you go out to parties and events mm -hmm. and conferences, you, and sometimes it's not even when you have the chance to go. You, you should have to actually go. go. Yeah, don't you apply? Like register for conference. We just have no idea. It's not yeah. within our niche, but we go. Don't exactly yeah. because you're going there and you're going to meet different kinds of people. There is um, a digital and AI. Uh, it's called Rewired 2025 coming next year, and it's not just going to be nurses there. They're going to be software developers mm -hmm. and other people who are all into AI and yeah. health tech and all that. And I'll be going. And I'm not going there to go and look for nurse friends. I have enough nurses friends. Yeah. I, I've sat with over 200 people in classes who are all nurses. I'm now going to meet other people who are already into the thing I'm doing or are on the same pedestal with me, interested in going that trajectory. And that is what's going to help me. When you go to parties, don't just go and drink and just don't go and follow girls and what. Please, look for opportunities. I'm, I, and it's it's I'm really passionate about it because... If you don't realize these things early and how important they are to your success, you you would 
you'd miss out on a whole lot of things. And sometimes it's not just about meeting the people physically. Identify people that, and it's quite common on LinkedIn, identify people who are probably already where you're supposed to be and just follow them or connect with them and follow their path, follow the things that they have done, follow, do you get it? That is how you build that kind of network for yourself on there. So like Riley said, if you have a lawyer friend and you need something, straight up, you can hit them up. They necessarily might not be experts in what you're looking for, but they can signpost you to it. People who go who are in the universities or go to universities have a great advantage rather than people who go into colleges. Like if you go into nursing school, you're probably going to meet all nurses. If you go into a teacher training college, you're probably going to meet yeah. all teachers. But when you go to a university where everything is... Don't limit your friends to your classmates. Mm -hmm. Find someone who's reading law. Find someone who's reading medicine. The other person who's reading real estate. Build that kind of thing. And for those who are privileged to school, you know, they've come from Ghana and they're schooling here. Network as much as people, uh, as much as, as you possible, can. Yeah. Meet other nationalities. Mm -hmm. Learn about their cultures. Mm -hmm. The world is a global village now. Do you get it? Especially in London. I was like, in London, it's not even Brits that you see. You see people from uh, oh, Pakistan, yeah. from here, from here network we sit in get uber it? and we talk to drivers yeah. we learn from them like we are always learning from someone exactly. there's one person who when it comes to networking like that person is my uh, mentor my icon yeah. in that regard yeah. it's my nest manager now yeah. so like she knows someone every, in every key <laughs> position definitely I, I i told her um i'm thinking of applying to do this and she says Oh, I, I know the person who will potentially interview you for that. I said, oh my God. She gets like, it. Like, where don't you know someone? She knows someone everywhere. Mm -hmm. There are times that she sends me an email. I've seen this conference or I've seen this um, workshop. I would yeah. want you to go. Go and network. Like, I've spoken to them already. Yeah. I've sent them an email. I've attached your name. Just go. She values and knows that if not for now, you need them in the future. And sometimes... You, you meet those people and in later life, you, you want to do something extra. Those people recommend you. Oh, yeah. I, I know this person. Probably she the person it. is bigger than you. But she because of it. that conference, seeing you alone. Yeah. Oh, I've seen this person somewhere. Probably that will be your next boss or, you know. You know. So just and, and talking about conferences, see, it's one of those places where you go, you attend an event. And even with the big people, you, they come you feel like you are all on the same level yeah. because they can put you in groups and you'll be in the group with the chief nurse, you'll be in the group with the CEO of a company and you all be sharing ideas and we, picking lessons from them. When you, know? you did the interview with the former RCM president, yeah. at someone, you, you don't you know where it. you, you are going have to <laughs> bro. seen her bro. Or, or met with her, but you were do, sitting do you get it? and you were having very nice... That, that yeah, and, and sometimes... It's, it's not just about the networking, like Riley said, it's about connecting with the people as well. Mm -hmm. You just can't say, okay, I've met this person who's a lawyer, I, I take their number, I'll take their contact, and that's it. When I need them in two years, then no, you no, go no. And see, find a way to just random check in. Hey, random. how are you? You okay? Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 how's work? Blah, 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 and leave it there. A few months, just, you know, that tiny bit of connection True. so that after some time when you need them, it's not going to be like you're totally alien True. or something like yeah. that. You get it. Yeah, so... Charlie, that one. Um, the next one here is... <laughs> this is very funny. <laughs> what is it? No one really knows what they're doing. Like, we're all trying to figure things out, bro. Yeah. You, like, let's, let's refine it. So, you would never completely know everything. Like, you, you won't figure life out to the fullest. Big shout out to the perfectionists. <laughs> Relationship, career, health. Yeah. You you, are, you just live by the day. Yeah. Right. And you shouldn't be too hard on yourself if mm -hmm. things are not going well or you're not finding an answer to a question or something that is bothering you. Sometimes you just need to relax or sleep over it. Mm -hmm. Give yourself Sometimes it might take a year yeah. to be able to find that answer to that business problem you're having. You get yeah. it. Yeah. You shouldn't be too hard on yourself. No. Th uh, that's that's how I say you shouldn't be too hard on yourself. Sometimes we overstress. Not forgetting the hmm. fact that even our parents have still not figured things out. Bro. There are people who are 100 years <laughs> and they are hmm. still learning from life. Life yeah. has 
always got something to teach you. You just have to avail yourself to learn. Absolutely. Yeah. Baby steps. And that's what if, we, if we knew I, I if we knew that. everything. Nobody. There, there's to, no point. Exactly. Everybody's there's no a point. He said, "Yeah, you yeah. know everything." So what's the sometimes point? your boss comes to you and tells you, "I'm I'm thinking about this. How do you think we'll, we'll work it out?" That's why we have teams. That's why you we get have, it. Because if the leaders, those who are up there, could do everything, they wouldn't Need hire people down there. Exactly. Rich people even hire advisors. Yeah. If riches alone can make a person. Like if riches means that yeah. a person knows everything, they would they wouldn't have advice. They have people who advise them on health, who advise. So you can't figure. Out, even doctors are still learning. The the so called professionals in their yeah. field, the specialists, they are still learning. Absolutely. So like Charlie, I'm, the I'm more we leave, the more we learn. Add, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to add any. You've just said it all. Like yeah. baby steps. You, yeah. You don't have to have everything figured out. One day at a time, bro. Decision. One day at a time. One break a day. Yeah. <laughs> the next one we had down is work-life balance like someone should really be preaching this out there work-life balance now it's not very common back home mm-hmm. but here where you're working per hour you're earning as much as the work you put in mm-hmm. people pick up shifts left right center front ne- angle left diagonal bro people don't rest like constantly working you know up and down people don't even have time for their families bro it's it's not good though experience is the best teacher there are there are things that we've had over and work-life balance even our employers preach, preach it, it. they know, force it on you like breaks and uh, if you don't they force need it, you don't for that extra break. shift but at the end of the day they don't want you to kill yourself exactly because they know that when you die they will replace you that's why they said they'll, they'll feel sad that you died but but they'll... life goes on of course people but sometimes sick. there are people who have to collapse at work before they come to the realization that yeah you know their yeah. their body can't go any further and uh, there's one thing i used to tell my wife when i first came to the uk there are days where i could do like in an acute care setting working on a surgical ward I do five long days straight. Sometimes I do two long days and six nights. So eight wow. shifts on the row. And my body tells me like, when, when you take that break, you can sleep for five days and it's still not enough. I got to a hard realization. And from reading, I learned that whatever we subject our body to now, we'll pay for it. Our body, of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> our body will, will seek yeah. payment in the future and it comes at the expense of your comfort because mm-hmm. what's what's the expense in gathering so much money now and then the you spend the next 10 years battling health conditions you get it you know it doesn't mean that you should be lazy no definitely sometimes not we, we that. aspire to be things that we are not created for mm-hmm. there are people who preach that as a man, you have to work hard. You don't have to sleep a lot. You have to wake up at this. But you know yourself better than a- any, any other person. If it's eight hours that can get you going, do eight hours. If you want to reduce it, just do it gradually. Yeah. And know your limits. Definitely. Know your limits. Definitely. Like, know your limits very well. Because we, we've had issues these days of, you know, immigrants... People dying in buses, mm-hmm. people dying on the train, mm-hmm. and people collapsing at work and all that because they're putting in so much. See, go for a holiday, take a break, travel elsewhere. You're in UK, they have these like three countries, Albania, Montenegro, um, what's the other one? Oh, it's, it doesn't immediately come to mind, but travel, go elsewhere, take a break, relax, have a good time with your family, phone a friend, you know, all of these things. Take Sometimes a walk, we are, we are just go scared for a picnic. To... We are scared to. Sometimes you have to no. let some money go. You have to let let, let that shift slide. Let, let someone also go. have have that, that opportunity to yeah. be able to enjoy that money, <laughs> right? And there are some people you want to become Mr. Beast, but when you listen to him, he says that don't become like me because I I don't have life. Do you get it? There are people who are just one out of a million. You know. You know? Yeah, they, they, they are have wired to be, differently. They, they have to be examples, but yeah. not everybody has to become like them. You know. There are people who don't care dying at a very young age or 
risking everything just to get that get name. name. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you want the name. At the end, you you, you still also want, want long life. life. <laughs> you still want long <laughs> life, but you know, not everybody can become like Elon Max. He said, "I don't sleep enough." I. It's them. <laughs> you know, do what you can. Have enough time. I I prefer to <laughs> enjoy a full life with my yeah. wife, my future kids. Yeah. Than to work so, so hard, hard, gather a lot of money, build all these properties for them, and then I'll die early and not get to yeah. spend enough time. And with your them nest of kin, kin, your nest of kin will come and enjoy you. Like you, you know, my you, uncle has you know, left this property. You know, and in some <laughs> cultures where your nephew or your niece is the one that inherits your property, it doesn't even go to your children. Do you get it? Straight up, free money. You know. Free money. <laughs> Uh, the last one we had here is, and, and I think I'm quite passionate about this one, is that it's okay to ask for help. We wish we knew that adulthood comes with its own challenges mm-hmm. and it's completely fine to ask for help when you are overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. People don't ask for help because they feel like I came here before you or I feel like I am doing better. I mean, I was doing better than you or whatever it is. Or I'm at this level, so I can't ask Mm -hmm. you for help. Pride, ego, whatever it is. See, you are going to die in that particular problem. If it's a money problem, ask. If it's um, a mental, you know, wellness issue, speak to If it's a money problem, ask. I beg. (laughs) Charlie, I beg. Ask, Ask him. I beg. Because I feel like, Asking for help is a strength Mm -hmm. rather than a weakness. Like knowing that, nah, at this point, I can't move on. I I need someone to help me. I need someone to figure it out. It's not bad. So I think the first job I had in the UK, right? Hmm. The interview I did, there was one question that... So the, the question was like, so you're on a shift and then you are the only nurse. You've got one healthcare assistant. You've got a patient that is very unwell that needs monitoring. And there's other patients who have their medication due. What would you do? In my mind, I was just trying to answer to show I'll be the hero of the day. Mm -hmm. Try to do all these things. And they said, I answered it. They said, we are quite happy with the way you answered it. But what we wanted you to do is ask for help from someone straight up and that was it asking for help doesn't mean you are weak or you are i don't know we we've got this perception that it makes us vulnerable to people when we ask for help or it makes us it makes the person more qualified or you get it it gives them power over us kind of there, there are some people who actually want you to ask for help like they 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 are happy helping you. Do you get it? They are happy helping you. Imagine that I'm in financial struggle now. Mm. My sister, the one that I always give money to, I go to her and I tell her, maybe I need a pound for something and she's able to give me. The feeling that she will have knowing I'm that I've been able to help this, this person, person alone. Yeah. You know, so some people want you to ask for help. You shouldn't it shouldn't be like begging and it shouldn't be habitual but when you get to that breaking point just just ask for help definitely yeah. and and i think it's uh, these i think these things we have shared if people should take it seriously and begin to implement mm-hmm. them life would be a lot a lot easier a lot lot easier i think in the news at the moment there is an issue of um, a nurse who's currently being jailed because they left their babies and discussions have come up about how People don't ask for help. Like they're living in the same neighborhood. We've all got kids. I can help you take care of your don't kids. Don't create a wall around Do you. Do get it? Like, you can help me take care of my kid. We don't work up. every day. Do you get it? For example, if um, I'm living with, with someone, let's say you're a single father and we, we're living together. You are a nurse, a clinical nurse. Probably you'd go for a night shift or whatever. I go to work during the day and I come back. I can take care of your kid for you whilst you're gone for the night. And the morning you can come for your kid. You know, like th- a it's, whole it's, lot of things. You know, it's it stemmed from from young age going Growing into school. Up. Like people are in school, they are they are struggling, and then they are able to ask colleagues because they they feel like when I ask, 
they'll <laughs> mock at me because they'll say I'm very dull. But anyways, if you don't ask for help, you are still dull. So ask for that help and become better. You, you know, get it. <laughs> I like that. I, I was. It, it's insecurity. Yeah. Most times, people who are not able to ask for help suffer from insecurities, yeah. right? And I was struggling with that as well in my career. Like I want to do everything and like mm -hmm. prove what what what. What's the point? Be? Because the thing is, you're not the first successful you, person in this. You, world. you don't ask for it, and <laughs> when you ask for it, you'll be able to achieve your goals you get earlier yeah. and with with less stress. When you don't ask for help, you, you break down right, and you, you won't be able to do it. So just just ask for help. Like, let them insult you. And at the end of the day, they still owe you that help. Like, let them do it. You are in no, you, you are in no competition. Like, seriously, you are not in competition. If you've at any point felt like you're in competition with someone, clear that idea. You are in no... Like, everyone is interested in themselves and thinking about themselves. Mm. Do you get it? So no one is really... Nobody they see you like that. Do you get it? So when you feel like you are challenging the wire, bro, ask. Ask for help. Charlie. Sister, ask. Ask someone. Even if you don't get it, you've asked. There are people when you ask them for help and they don't have it, they would even go length and to get it for you, know. you. Do you get it? So, do you have anything to add? Because I feel like <laughs> we've spoken enough on this. Actually, I'll say this in our, our local dialect. Say Oto Yara Naonya Anuendro. So like Charlie. <laughs> end of this guy yeah. <laughs> guys thank you so much leave leave whatever things you wish you knew you were an adult in the comment section let's catch up follow us on all our social media handles and until we we meet you again please do well to subscribe if you haven't most importantly and we'll catch you on the next episode peace out peace.